A Multnomah County judge has just sentenced a man to life in prison after a mass shooting in Northeast Portland more than a year ago. Benjamin Smith shot and killed one woman at Normandale Park and injured four other people. Fox Drew Marine was in the court for his sentencing today. Sure. It was an emotional day in court as survivors and witnesses packed the courtroom to share their heartbreak and their anger about the shooting last February. It's a day they say they'll never forget. I'm a survivor of Benjamin Smith's attack at Normandale Park on February 19th, 2022. It's a night survivors and witnesses will never forget. <sighs> How do you ever forget the images of bullets hitting your friends' bodies? I have relived that night countless times. I see it and smell it and feel it every single day. The weight of your bullets has not left my body. On February 19th, 2022, a group of people gathered at Normandale Park in Northeast Portland to stand against the killings of Amir Locke and Dante Wright at the hands of police. Two people from Minnesota, this is Portland, a group of pasty white liberals gathered in this park peacefully to protest the killing of two fucking degenerate thugs in Minnesota. <laughs> the, the, that we... <laughs> The DNA, the DNA, the DNA. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that's the DNA, man. Group wants what you have. That night, say the what part of that group wants what you have, and they want you not to have it, man. Yeah, this is this is this is, and and look what happened next. They they they're peacefully protesting, right? And then look what happened. Park in Northeast Portland to stand against the killings of Amir Locke and Dante Wright at the hands of police. But witnesses that night say the march never started because 43-year-old Benjamin Smith began shooting, killing June Knightley, and seriously hurting four other people, including one woman who goes by Dag. She was shot in the neck that night and is now paralyzed, requiring her parents to provide around-the-clock care. I can't move my body. Mm. And that alone has impacted me emotionally and has been... That's fucked up, though. That is fucked up, man. She went out there to fucking... She's, she can't move anymore now because she went to protest for Amir Locke and Dante Wright. Oh, my God. Is there a motive for the shooting? At the, at the time when I did the story, it was like they was like too close to his property. Mm. And it wasn't as peaceful as they're trying to claim it is. And he came out and, you know... Something happened, but we'll see if they actually say that. Um, because you know, in court, you know, the facts, I guess the facts come out. So that was the preliminary when I did the story the night it happened. But um this this girl is paralyzed. Wow, man. The clock care. I can't move my body. And that alone has impacted me emotionally and has been overwhelming to process. I'm also grieving my friend who was killed while trying to protect me. She was a person I loved, admired. Her life was stolen. And I feel I am alive because of the sacrifice she made in that moment. Despite my disability, I feel grateful to be alive. Smith sat while he listened to the survivors of his shooting, and when it came time for him to speak, he relied on his attorney, and survivors stormed out because he stayed silent. Just unfathomable remorse that he has for what he did to these folks. So, nothing? we have... You got nothing? So, oh, hang on. Sorry. Hang, hang on. Oh. Again, again, Smith was sentenced to life in prison with the possibility of parole after 55 years. Live in downtown Portland. Man, he took it on the chin, too. He was like, fuck, I'm, I'm, he's like, I ain't begging y'all for, for, no, for no fucking mercy. Fuck y'all. Give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, damn. Wow. Mm, mm, mm. Five deputies in Cowlitz County looking for an inmate who is on the loose tonight. They say he impersonated another person to be released from jail. 
deputies are looking for 26 year old Brian Francisco Roman. <laughs> they say that a corrections officer went to contact an inmate who was set to be released, and all three inside the cell were asleep. Deputies say Roman identified himself as the inmate when the officer called for them. Jail staff said that Roman and the other inmate have similar features. Roman retrieved property belonging to the other inmate and forged that inmate's name. He said all these damn gliders look the same. didn't realize the mistake was made until the correct inmate asked them about when he was to be released. Roman is now wanted on escape, criminal impersonation, forgery, and theft charges. Damn. <laughs> somebody, somebody, somebody did that shit in our jail. Five. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they did. They switched the ID shit. Um, they did that in bail. idiocracy. <laughs> they switched the ID and shit, and um, the person that got the bill, they switched it with the other bomb. So he got out and shit, and they realized that shit afterwards. They caught the dude next day though. So like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He got out. Listen, go, go, fucking, go to a strip club or something. Go get you a fucking some fast food. <laughs> so they catch your ass. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you gotta make that kid. stuff count. You got a little, yeah. <laughs> I mean, life is, listen, man, life is so fucking um, boring. There's nothing to do, like, out here, man. So it's like if you don't have a house and, like, you're not in the town where you're from, where your family is, because a lot of these prisons are, like, out the sticks, you escape, man. You're just, like, on the lam. You're just walking around and shit. There's really nothing to fucking do, man, but fucking go to a restaurant, have a nice meal.